Is Val Vista Lakes the best neighborhood in the entire Gilbert area? I'll let you decide after watching this video, but for many, especially if you go online and look at blogs, uh, many consider this to be the top neighborhood in the entire Gilbert, Arizona area. So again, but in this video, I'll talk a little bit about Val Vista Lakes. Where is it at? I'll show you on a map exactly, that way you know exactly where it's located. As well as I'll show you around three different properties. We'll call it small, medium, and large here in Val Vista and show you kind of around of what the neighborhood looks like. So there are a ton of amenities and we'll get after those right now. So again, you know, Val Vista Lakes, it is definitely one of the best neighborhoods in the entire and one of the most sought after um, for many reasons. One, you know, it has the clubhouse, it has the pickleball tennis, it's got the beach, it's got a couple of swimming pools. Um, but really, honestly, one of the best things is the location. And, you know, honestly, instead of telling you about the location, let's hop into my computer. I'll show you exactly where everything is on a map. That way you can understand why exactly it is one of the best locations in the entire Gilbert area. So let's take a deeper dive on the location where Val Vista Lakes. That way you can get a perfect idea on where everything is. So let me go ahead, share my screen. All right, so Val Vista Lakes, as you can see, um, in terms of Gilbert, and if you've seen some of our other videos, um, Gilbert sometimes can get a little far from, you know, if you need to go downtown or to the airport. Um, the nice thing with Val Vista Lakes is, as you can see, it's right off of this Highway 60. So this Highway 60, it's huge. There's like five or six lanes on each side, and it's literally just a straight shot. I joke, it's like one of the straightest highways in the United States. Uh, it's literally just a dead shot. So um, if you're, you know, going to the airport a lot or like downtown Phoenix, um, you know, it's probably, it's about 20 miles. So it's gonna take you, you know, 30 to 35 minutes to get into downtown. Um, a lot of the traffic gets congested here on the 101, as well as uh, here on Interstate 10. So just some things to keep in mind, right? Um, that if you are going there, it's gonna take a little bit longer. But again, the nice thing with Val Vista Lakes is where it's at and uh, it literally has everything that you need here in the neighborhood. So as you can see here, I'll pull up the satellite view so you can get a little bit overview, right? About what exactly the, like the, Val the lakes area look like. So as you can see, there's three little kind of distinct areas with Val Vista Lakes. In the clubhouse, this is the main, the main area in one of the HOAs. Um, it literally has everything. As you can see, it has the pickleball courts, it's got the tennis courts, and as you can see in the video later on, uh, they keep on building and improving those as well. But you know, they got a swimming, they got two swimming pools here. They have a sand volleyball area. They got a little beach area. So it's a really, really unique area. And I think that's one of the favorite things that people like here about Val Vista Lakes is, you know, they got the clubhouse area, and then just all the parks all throughout. So, you know, as we kind of zoom our way out, so if you are really want an area that, you know, has like walking paths or lots of green area, you know, especially here in Phoenix, you don't really see those quite as often. So, so it's just really nice that as you can see, like you can walk and bike all along, you know, they got the green belt kind of throughout. Um, they have a ton of all these other little parks all throughout the neighborhood. So, you know, again, there's a little basketball court, covered playground area. Um, it's just really, really cool that it literally has everything that you need. You know, again, another park in the southern part. You got another park if you're on the west side of Val Vista Lake. So it literally has everything in terms of like outdoor activities, parks, you know, the all the clubhouse activities. So there's a ton of that. Now, if we go back into just kind of the standard lake view, or the standard view, right? Um, they have kind of everything you need from like a commercial aspect as well. So, you know, a little brunch spot down here. There's a lot of dentists in the area. So if you, you like clean teeth, you got to get in the, uh, the Val Vista Lakes area. But as you can see, if we go up here to the northern part, so you got literally Walmart, like I'm not kidding, like literally right across the street from you. Um, they got AJ's Fine Food is in here. They got a lot of fast food. Um, Native, this is a bar and grill place, same with Fat Cats. Uh, two really, really good spots for food. You know, so local bars, again, just right in your back neighborhood. Um, you know, again, more of the, you know, your fast food types, Wendy's, uh, they got Burger King, they got literally everything. Culver's, uh, they got all kinds of fast food right here off of the highway. So again, really easy access, but you know, Hobby Lobby, there's an at-home store. They, there we go. Um, they literally have everything that you need right in this community, right across the street from Val Vista Lakes. Now, again, if you go a little bit further west, so, you know, maybe you don't like to shop at Walmart, right? Um, the nice thing is if you just go, you know, uh, two miles down the street to the west, you have, A, you got Sam's Club. Costco, I'll show you, is on the other side. Um, so that's just right down the street. But you got Trader Joe's. There's a Fry's Marketplace. Uh, Fry's owned by Kroger. So if you have Kroger, you know, in the town that you live in, uh, the Fry's Marketplaces are huge stores. They got, like, fresh sushi. They got clothes. It's, they got literally everything. Um, we absolutely love it. So 
they got all of that so again this is all within about five minutes from your neighborhood but you know as you can see you got ace hardware fries there's all kinds of food in this area as well there's a uh, sprouts farmers market um so in that aspect again uh it literally has everything you need within about five minutes and you're right off of the highway 60. now if you're in the val vista lake you're not going to hear the highway i know it looks really close uh but you're not going to hear it when you're you know walking around down here um some of some some of some other uh highlights that the area has is downtown gilbert so downtown gilbert again just right down the street it has literally everything you need go check out our vlog if you haven't seen it uh it's got you know restaurants they got little coffee shops they got bars they got literally everything that you need down here in downtown gilbert so a really easy again just a two mile drive uh, and as you can see as we zoom in here it will be all restaurants so again this is only about five to ten minutes probably five minutes <laughs> ten maybe if you're biking um so again that's a nice really really nice aspect and then the costco and some other of the major shopping you know that you need is just right down the street super springs center now some other things you know that's really nice if you're like a fisherman right if you like to fish uh, you can head down to the water the Rufian preserve down here at the water ranch and again this is all within the neighborhood so the location is absolutely amazing um, in terms of you know golf kind of close to some courses down here on the eastern side of uh, mesa if you're a big golfer it's not the best location but you know you're still close you can just go right down the street uh, greenfield lakes is like an executive course western skies and then if you go further west into uh, dobson ranch so those are some other courses you know that uh, are in the area but you know if you like to hike um, might not be the best location because it's about 20 25 minutes up to the usury mountain regional park um, but again you're really centralized in terms of the east valley so you know, most of the Gilbert goes down here in the southern area. So it's really nice that you're right off of the 60 and you can go anywhere. You can get up to Scottsdale in about 25 minutes, get to the airport in about 30 minutes. So that is it for location. Let's get you back out and get you on the ground of what Val Vista Lakes actually looks like. So now that you have a better idea of exactly where Val Vista Lakes is, you know, I don't have to talk about the location because you just learned about it. And honestly, it really is an, an amazing spot. But honestly, one of the best things that Val Vista Lakes has is it definitely is the location. It's so good. It's so centralized in Gilbert and the entire East Valley. So enough about location, you just learned about it. Um, what is it actually like to live here? So there's a ton of, you know, walking, biking trails. You know, it's an absolutely beautiful day. Uh, it's 70 degrees and I've learned, uh, now I'm starting to get cold. I wear, I wear jackets and pants when it's 70. Um, but it's an amazing day. There's tons of people, you know, walking their dog. Uh, there's the elementary school right behind me so you can hear the kids playing um, outside. So, you know, there's just a lot of, it's a very, very active community. Um, and one really nice thing with where we are right now, um, so this is our, we'll call it our small property. Um, this is only about a thousand square feet. So this is the beach, the beach club is what they call it. Um, and it's about the thousand square feet. Now the HOAs in Val Vista Lakes, they are gonna be a little bit higher. So for example, at uh, this particular property, which we'll pop into in a sec, um, this one is about $330 every single month. Now, that does seem like a lot and it definitely is, don't get me wrong. Um, but the nice thing is that it does cover the roof, like any roof repair or like exterior, um, you know, all this like common area maintenance. So as you can see, you know, just with some of the, you know, like the green area and the pool and all that stuff. Um, but then you also get access to the clubhouse again with the tennis courts, the pickleball courts, the beach, all of that. So that's all included. Uh, taxes are really not that bad. It's only about $1,300. Uh, every single year so if you're coming from other areas of the country i'm from omaha nebraska and our taxes there are crazy so it's really nice down here that it's um, a lot more affordable but um, one really nice thing before we pop into the beach club um, is that you know especially if you're buying for like a second property uh, you don't have to do any of the exterior maintenance you know the garage yes but like you don't have to worry about the roof or the exterior of the unit so one really really nice spot but again uh, what's really nice is that it the, the beach club here is that you get access to your own like a little pool. So you don't have to go to the main pool in the clubhouse. You can just pop in over here. So let's pop into our first property and I'll show you exactly kind of what, you know, the small uh, end of the price range is at the beach club. Now, again, this is only about a thousand square feet. So right when you walk in, this one's a little outdated as well, but you know, right walk in, you get kind of a little bit lower ceilings. Um, but again, this is designed for, you know, maybe like a first level home or first level, uh, you know, like a first time home buyer or somebody who's looking for like a, you know, a second home here in the Phoenix area. But, you know, decent kitchen size, you know, again, it's, it's only a thousand square feet, so it's gonna be a little tight. It is interesting having your laundry, you know, right here in the, in the living room or in the kitchen area. Um, but one really nice thing that this has, right, is that you do have, you have your own garage. So you don't have to worry about, you know, walking outside when it's super hot out. You literally just come right in and boom, honey, I'm home. So right when you walk in, 
you know, you go right into the kitchen and the living room. So honestly, that is one really nice thing about this property. And again, Val Vista Lakes, just in general, it's so nice in the aspect of like, right when you walk out, there's a ton of green area um, right behind you, you know? So the myth of moving down to Phoenix and the Gilbert area is that there's, you know, there's no greenery. That's not true. You just gotta find the right neighborhoods. And guys, that is why it is so important that you reach out to us, you know, if you're thinking about making a move because we will understand your lifestyle. What are you really looking for when moving down to the Phoenix area? So be happy to, you know, guide you guys through that. So again, our contact information is down in the description below. So either call us or send us a text or email us, whatever works best for you. Um, so as we make our way kind of throughout, again, you know, it does have, <laughs> this bathroom's a little outdated, but you do have, you know, one, full bathroom for, you know, like a guest or, you know, if, uh, or kids or whoever. Um, this one's nice, it's a little bit taller. I love the, the bedspread there. But, you know, again, two full bedrooms. This room's actually really big, really good size. And then you have, you get two sinks in here as well. Um, and again, you get a full, you get the full bathtub as well. So again, for only a thousand square feet, not terrible. Um, this price point, uh, these, you know, go for anywhere from like 350 to 400, maybe a little bit higher if it's more updated. Um, so if you're kind of, you want to be in this neighborhood, you want, you know, all the clubhouse activities, um, this would be a really good start for you. But as we'll go into next, if you want more of like a single family home, there we go. Um, if you want that, then uh, we'll pop into our next property and show you kind of exactly what that will get you as well as some of the other footage of what living in Val Vista Lakes looks like. So stop number two. Um, so we are in Honestly, Val Vista Lakes, so that it's like one big like master plan community. But then within, um, you know, Val Vista Lakes, there's like little tiny like sub neighborhoods almost. Um, so you have, you know, like the starter neighborhood that we were just in or like the condo townhouses. Um, but, you know, now, as you can see, this is more, <laughs> the sun is blinding me. Um, this is more like, you know, your traditional single family uh, suburb neighborhood, right? Um, but one really nice thing about Val Vista Lakes in general is that it has, you know, tall trees everywhere. Just wait till you see you know, kind of like the backyard area, um, but there's tall trees and there's grass. So, you know, especially like if you're coming from like Washington or Oregon or like the Midwest, um, this is gonna be a really good neighborhood for you because you got water, you got trees and you got grass. So not every, you know, Gilbert neighborhood has this. Go check out our vlog. I picked two neighborhoods that look completely opposite than most uh, look down here in the Gilbert area. But for Val Vista Lakes, you will definitely get that. Um, now this particular, you know, property, this is uh, about 2,100 square feet and you got four bedrooms in here. So uh, let's pop in, let's take a look. But, you know, while I was just even driving over here, like I can't tell you how many people that were just out there walking around. You got an elementary school in the neighborhood so you can walk 10 minutes, you can walk with your kid, you know, to school. I remember in Nebraska, um, my dad and my mom would always walk me to school. So kind of a cool, cool part of this aspect of this neighborhood. But, you know, right when you walk in, you really get that wow factor of, you know, these huge 10 foot ceilings. Um, it's very, very grand. Uh, this house is actually really, really cool. I love these tile floors too. Uh, it's like a, uh, um, vinyl planks, but we're starting to do all throughout. Um, what's really nice too is like, this is almost like a fifth bedroom. So you really get four bedrooms for the price of five. There we go. Good two car garage, you know, nothing crazy. But, you know, again, with Val Vista Lakes, it is so nice that you have literally the school literally right there. But one thing to consider is that uh, Val Vista Lakes, the high schools are split in two. So one would go to Highland Park and one would go to Gilbert Union, uh, kind of you know, more closer to downtown. So again, that's why it's really important for you guys to reach out to us. That way, we, you know, we're on the ground every single day when we know these little intricates about each neighborhood and schools and all that good stuff. So guys, again, pause the video, jot down our contact information and reach out below. Now this house is flipped and it definitely was staged, um, but it looks really, really good. You know, this kitchen's huge. Uh, I love like that, the entertaining aspect of like having, I love to cook, right? Um, so being able to like cut and prep everything in this kitchen, this, this island's huge. Um, you got all new stainless steel appliances. Yeah, this is honestly really nice. A lot of flips down here, they do them like really, really cheap. Um, this one is definitely not the case. Huge, tall vaulted ceilings. This is cool. I kind of feel like I'm in like Florida, like almost like a beach home, <laughs> kind of with the, uh, with the colors and everything. But again, so as you can see, you know, just as we make our way to the backyard, um, it's covered. And you know, you got, you can see this, your neighbor uh, a couple doors down, they got, you know, taller trees. So like I'm sitting in the backyard right now, it is winter, so the sun's a little bit lower, but you know, it's all shaded and it's just really, really nice back here. And again, you got green grass. Um, so what more could you ask for, right? 
Uh, really, really cool backyard. This patio, look how big this patio is. You could have lining people all the way up here. Uh, the lot itself, it's only about you know 6,500 square feet. Just some more little trash run. You know, not the biggest backyard. Um, and this property is for sale for about 600,000. So, you know, but, but again, this is 2,200. Um, and that really is one of the best things about Bell Vista Lakes. There's houses and options for every single price point. There's, you know, $1.4 million houses and there's the 350,000 that we had seen earlier. But what is really nice with this property, you know, you got full laundry room as well, some additional storage, but all of the bedrooms are like kind of tucked back here. Okay, we'll pop into this bathroom first. And again, it's actually really nice. You got two sinks and you got an updated shower as well but you have all four bedrooms back here. So when you go to bed, you know, you can get ultimate and it's really, really quiet back here. Really good sized bedrooms actually. And it's just so nice with the taller ceilings. But that, I love this like little, like it's not chef life. I don't know what my wife, and she would know. She's our interior designer. But again, you know, just this one's a little bit smaller, the smallest kid or something like that. And then this one's actually really big. And again, it's just nice that it has the vaulted ceilings kind of throughout. So this is actually really good. This suite is actually really cool. You have like the full, you know, bedroom suite and you have the bay windows too, which it doesn't seem like much, but it's an added, you know, it goes into the appraiser uh, just as an added benefit. And it really just, it enhances the value of a house just a little bit, but it, it all adds up. But again, really nice closet and this primary bathroom is really, really nice. I love these floors, starting to kind of see these throughout as well so you know for six hundred thousand, as you can see you get a really high end you get a really quality house here in the lakes and especially for how desirable it is you know it is still nice that this is somewhat affordable you know the average house in gilbert is about five hundred and seventy thousand. so the fact that this is you know 600 really not that bad it's really really well updated and you know again the location of val vista lakes is just so good you get the community aspect of like the clubhouse and you know the location of you know where you're at in terms of Gilbert. So next we're gonna pop into our third and final stop, kind of show you what's on the higher end. And we're not going on the lake, on, unfortunately, on this time, but uh, show you about what $900,000 gets you here in Val Vista Lakes. All right, so we are at our third and final stop in the Regatta area. And again, like I mentioned at the start, the Val Vista Lakes, it's like a you know culmination of a bunch of different neighborhoods. Um, but you guys will absolutely love about this one. It is gated, so uh, it's super, super quiet. Um, and again, one of my favorite parts about Val Vista Lakes is just like all the tall trees and you got the greenery everywhere. Um, and then you actually get like green belt, you know, right, uh, right beside you as well. So there's plenty of walking trails. There's plenty of biking trails and you're really, really close to the uh the lakes and the you know the Val Vista lake um and again the the best part about this is that you get access to literally everything uh, it's only about 140 dollars so you literally get access to the clubhouse the swimming pool the junior olympic pool the beach area the volleyball courts literally you name it you got it uh, it's all included in the hoa so let's go take a look you know with this house again it's just really nice so you get to get the tall trees um, but you also get you know a three-car garage um in this neighborhood you're typically going to see you know 900 all the way up to you can go up to 1.456 uh 1.6 million dollars so it's a really really pretty neighborhood and you guys are absolutely going to love it that's one of my favorite parts about val vista lakes is how diverse uh, the neighborhood is so and again one really nice thing uh just how kind of tall the ceilings are and the entryway. So let's go take a look. So right as you walk in, you get these tall, huge ceilings. Um, and what is really nice is that you get this like flex, you know, the den in the front. So you could use it, you know, for like a guest room or, you know, for the office that you, know, you may have. Um, but what's really nice is that you have the option to do it, right? And then as you come in, you got, again, you get these super tall and high ceilings, but you have like a, the formal dining room. You know, you don't see that a ton anymore. Everybody wants this wide open space. So I think it's really nice that you have this option, you know, exactly for whatever you need it for. You want the formal dining room, if you want to keep it, you know, like a game room, anything that you guys want, you could do it with here. Um, as we make our way into the, you know, the main living room area, this is where you get that open concept, right? You get the really tall, high ceilings and you get, you know, the hardwood floors. This kitchen is so well done. They did an amazing job. You can see the gas stove. We got a couple guests in here as well, showing us and telling us how amazing this property is. But you get the gas stove, you get the huge island, the eating kitchen, and you know, it just opens up into the living room area. So it's a really, really welcoming and really, really warm space. Um, one of the best things about it too, is that you look out and you get that greenery. Again, that we talked about when you're moving here to Arizona, that you get the greenery and the tall trees that most neighborhoods down here, you are not gonna get. So that is really one of the best parts about this particular house in this part of the neighborhood that again, you get the, the tall trees and the greenery. This is such an amazing, amazing backyard. 
again, another really one of the best parts about this house is that all the bedrooms are on the other side of the house. So you have complete privacy. And when you have people over that, you know, <laughs> kids can go to bed or you can go to bed to escape from them and you're not going to be bothered from them. But, you know, again, really, really tall, tall, high ceilings. And you kind of get this little mini living area. You, know, you can read a book or uh, do whatever. But one of the best parts about this bedroom is look at this closet. You've got so much space, so much space to do whatever you want. Then you make your way into, you know, the master bathroom. Tall, nice updated ceilings, and shower, as well as the double sinks as well. So really, really nice master bedroom. This is one of the, again, they did such a good job with this specific property. But again, you get the vaulted ceilings all the way throughout, even in the spare bathroom. Huge room, tall ceilings, massive, huge, huge closet there as well. Again, just as you make your way through all the, it's so nice that all of the, this entire house has the tall ceilings and it's a really really well updated flip even most times when people do a flip down here uh, they just kind of do the bare minimum they did an amazing job down here so again you know another second bedroom full laundry room as well now one of the really nice things that they did on this particular house as well is in the three-car garage they put these on the epoxy floor so these are super easy to clean especially with all the dust and dirt that we have down here in Phoenix. So that wraps up our tour of what some people consider one of the best neighborhoods in all of Gilbert, Arizona. Uh, it's definitely up there for me. Anytime, you know, clients are moving into the area, I always say, hey, you gotta check out Val Vista Lakes just because of, again, the tall trees. You got the amazing amenities of the clubhouse that we talked about earlier. Um, and you have the diversity of houses. So any budget, uh, we can make it true and make it happen for you here in the Val Vista Lakes area. So, Again, guys, if you like this video, make sure you like the button below. Comment down below. I want to know where you're coming from, what you think of this video, as well as, you know, what other stuff that, around Gilbert, Arizona you want to see. So, again, thanks for watching. Uh, click to subscribe to check out all of the other videos that we have on the channel for moving down to Phoenix. And, again, if you need help move, making your transition to Phoenix, Arizona, pause the video, grab our information down below. We're happy to make your move a smooth transition. So we'll catch you on the next video, and thanks for watching.